your host, Sarah Darsha. Today we're at the London Muslim Mosque Multicultural Annual Bazaar happening. Uh, it's a really good event. There's been uh, food from all over the world and all over the Middle East. And um, we hope that you enjoy the show today. And we hope that you're able to join us on February 14th at the Islamic Center for another bazaar. Assalamu alaikum, what's your name? Uh, my name is Kareem Nettie. And Kareem, who are, you, who are you representing today? What country? I'm representing Tunisia, my home country. Uh, my parents are from there. Uh, I visit every year, but uh, I was not born there. What's your favorite food? Food? Frika se. Frika? Se. Okay. So what's, what, is this, what does this consist of? What's inside of it? Uh, so you get fried dough with the boiled uh, potato, uh, pickles, uh, hot pepper, tuna, boiled eggs, yeah. And so is this a very popular dish there? Yes, in Tunisia, very popular, yeah. Hi, what's your name? Lujane. And Lujane, what, what country are you from? Tunisia. Tunisia. Have you ever been there before? Yeah. And what are you wearing today? Um, traditional clothes from there. And do you wear this all the time? Kinda, yeah. yeah? What part do you like about it the most? Um, I like the bottom, like the yeah, that's extra, extra nice. <laughs> Talk to us a little bit about what you're wearing today. I'm wearing tradition clothes from Tunisia, and with the Shashia, it's named Shashia. Wearing the tradition in the wedding, uh, party, Eid, like that. Yeah. And in the wedding, do they wear a white dress or do they wear traditional Tunisian clothes? Uh, one day in Henna Day, wear tradition. And the, the day wedding, wearing white uh, special dress for Tunisian. Wow. Very yeah, nice. yeah. W when are you going to go back again? Every year, so in the summer, I want to visit my country, my family. And uh, it's really nice. There. It's the uh, name Tuni uh, Green Tunisia. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so, thank you so thank much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, so we're here with Tamsa Fida Rabah and, <laughs> and she's going to talk to us about who she's representing and what food she has. So ha welcome to the show, Tan. Oh, thank you. Thank you for coming. Thank you for everything. Tans, what, who are you representing today? We are representing the mosque and we are making falafel. This is traditional uh, dish or plate. Uh, from Egypt, Palestine, Syria, all the Medi Arabian Mediterranean. Okay, yeah. what's, what are these things here? And this is here, the falafel. Okay. What's, what's inside the falafel? Uh, fava beans, chick beans, parsley, <coughs> coriander, uh, dill, and spices, cumin, salt. It's very healthy. It's like we call it as vegetarian burger. You know, yeah. And today was a good selling for this. Mashallah, they are doing it inside the kitchen, like fresh. And this is for the sake of the mosque, everybody volunteering, everybody doing it for the sake of, of Syria, Palestine, the whole need. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Love you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. So we're here with Auntie Reem Alwani, representing Syria. Welcome to the show, Tan. Thank you, welcome. Tan, talk to us a little bit about what do you have uh, for food today? We have traditional food. We have da'a, which is a, a grilled red pepper with walnut and some spices. We have the eggplant with um, a yogurt. We have eggplant, grilled eggplant with some veggies. And we have the tabbouleh, which is a very traditional one. And we have something we call Harra ab Asbao. What does that mean? It's a kind of um, dough and the lentil. Yeah. And we have some sweet. We have uzi. Okay. What does is, what is that consist of? It's uh, stiffed with rice and bean, green bean. Okay. Very nice. Yeah. And we're so happy to uh, participate in this committee uh, event. Yes. Even in, in, uh, beside our crisis in Syria, even so, we are happy to participate here. We're, we're very happy that you came and you're sharing your beautiful food and your beautiful personality. Thank you very much. Thank you. Enjoy it here. with. Auntie, I wanted to ask you, how do you feel about the refugees coming in, uh, inshallah, to Canada and to London in particular? 
We're so happy that Canada opened the doors for the refugee to come here to choose the best country ever, which will, I live here for a long, long time. So I'm very happy that Canada is uh, welcoming the refugee. And uh, all the agencies now, we had a lot of meetings to how to uh, settle these uh, people who are coming, like, soon. Yeah. And what, do you, what are your hopes when they first come? What do you hope the Canadians do for them and the Londoners do for them? I think Canada is a very welcome country. She, uh, like, Canada will do the best for the refugee when they come. And uh, they're going to feel welcome here. Thank you so much. No problem. Thank you. We'll be right back with more of The Bazaar after this. Welcome back to the show. Uh, we're looking at the annual Muslim Bazaar at the London Muslim Mosque, and it's bringing people from all over the Middle East, all over the world, and all over London together in one place. Besma, what are you displaying today with Iraq? Um, today I'm, I'm doing uh, candles. It's, uh, it's Islamic candles, you know, that's a Quran words and God words. And I present it here with the candles and I have so many designs I can do. So what's special about these candles? What types of things do you do differently? Um, the different things, it's I put uh, uh, flowers in it and uh, as you can see, uh, designing, uh, I print uh, words, like Quran words all this stuff yeah at different shapes you know like we have so many design here yes and do are all your candles do the same thing because i saw you kind of flick one off and on from the bottom uh, yes. it's different uh, so this one is electronic candles uh for safety some people they like it because they have a children so they don't prefer the fire one so just put a battery and open it and start working just like very nice Can yes I see from here? yes <laughs> Yes, and it comes with a with a plate also inside. Yeah. Thank you very much. No problem. Have a good day. Assalamu alaikum. What's your name? Susan Abdullah. Susan, who are you representing? Which country? Iraq. And, and tell us what are the best foods in Iraq, and what foods do you have here today? We actually we have variety of food. The best option we have it for Iraq is kebab, called kebab. Yes, and if you look at it. It's here. It's made made of ground beef, grilled. We have special spices. Actually, it's not individual. We have to mix a few items together to get that flavor. So we can mix black pepper with common with the different different spices. Then we can have the the final Iraqi spicy. So if, if I eat this kebab, I say, I know this is an Iraqi one, right? Exactly. exactly. When you say kebab, it, that means it's Iraq. Tradition. <laughs> yes. yes. Special food. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Talk to us a little bit about what um, country you're presenting and the different foods you have here today. We're representing Pakistan and we've got a different variety of curries and chart and chickpeas and biryani, which is quite famous and the butter chicken and then we've got some appetizers which are samosas and um, pakoras and dessert is like jalebi. Talk to us a little bit about each one. What's in butter chicken? What is in the chickpeas? Um, butter chicken is a curry uh, with chicken and it's got special sauce that's made from Yadni. It's made from yogurt and butter. Okay. Yeah, with cream in fact, not exactly butter, I would say cream. Yes. Yeah. So it gives it kind of that buttery flavor. Yeah, exactly. Okay. And so and what? It has spices in it. A little bit of spices, not too, too many, but still, the, yes, it does have spices. What would you say makes Pakistani food so delicious? Why is this table so popular today? <laughs> because it, we I love it. I think so. It's, it's the spices, I would say. A lot of flavor. Yeah, a lot of flavor, yeah. Different kind of spices and everything. Yeah. And besides that, it's not only that, there's quite a lot of variety as well. Yes. Yeah. You're very generous at this table. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. You're welcome. Um, we are representing the Egyptian table here. Talk to us a little bit about the food that represents Egypt. Yeah, uh, we have so many um, hands that um, helped to do this um, huge table, as you can see. And it's all homemade. Uh, food. We have um, 
our traditions. Uh, we have um, uh, stuffed rice with, uh, um, 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 you know, that's a grape leaf. Yeah. And we have the pasta with white sauce, kofta. Um, we call it um, a bachamel, macaroni bachamel, okay? And we have also kushari. This is... Is this a popular one? Yeah, it's a very popular and uh, we made it with a different hands. We have so many um, ways to do it, but it's um, very delicious and we can you can add um, regular sauce or hot sauce. Uh, you can add up on the top. And, and what, what does the kushari contain? What's inside the kushari? Lentil, rice, um, um, as well pasta. And we have tomato sauce regular and a very hot ones that you can just very spicy and you can add it. Um, usually uh, we eat it um, as lunch or for lunch. Uh, also we do have um, as a tradition uh, something called basbusa. It's it's it, it dessert. Yeah, it's there. That's it. And we all did it just to share this lovely event in the bazaar uh, and the mosque in order to um, to share our culture and just to m merge in the community. And we're very happy that it is very crowded uh, today. And I'm enjoying what I'm doing. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for coming over. Thank you so much. We'll be right back with more of the Multicultural Bazaar at the, at the London Muslim Mosque after this. Welcome back to the Muslim View. We're here at the London Muslim Mosque Bazaar. It's an annual bazaar that happens every year with great food. We hope you enjoy it. My name is Noor. Who are you representing? Which country? Uh, we're representing from Turkey. It's, we are selling to all Turkish food. And what's, what's special about Turkish food? What do you have here today? Today we have a vegeta vegetable rice. It's all made of uh, organic you know, vegetable. And we have a vegetarian also salad. And we have a Turkish baklava and dolma. And we have a Turkish delight. And then also coconut cake. It's everything is homemade, and we are trying to the people taste is about the Turkish, and then to get know each other because this is first time we are trying. Inshallah. Oh, this one is potato kofta. They are calling. Yeah, it's homemade. What's inside? Inside has bulgur and potato and some spicy vegetable. That's it. Yeah. Nadir, tell us what country are you representing? I'm presenting uh, um, Albanian Macedonian. And what's the what's the food that you have here today? We got some bureks. We have some uh, sweets. Uh, I don't know to tell them in English. We got beans too, and uh, homemade bread and all these bureks, like with the burek. Yeah. And what's inside of it? Is it like a dough? A ricotta cheese and made with uh, homemade pastry, like uh, with uh, eggs and a little bit butter. And what's the most popular dish in Macedonia? Baklava. Baklava. Yeah. Sweet, yes. Thank you very much. It's made with uh, walnuts and the pastry, obviously, with uh, eggs and a uh, little bit butter and walnuts. Very much. You're welcome. Okay, Salaam alaikum. Can I get you to say your name, please? My name is Naif Iskandarani. Naif, talk to us a little bit about the uh, Saudi display. Is this a traditional uh, display that happens in Saudi? Yes, this is like uh, what's called a small uh, traditional, like uh, in Arabic, it's called khema. Uh, we do it in the desert, and uh, it's like it has uh, Arabic coffee. We always have uh, use the uh, Arabic coffee and dates. Yeah. Arabic coffee dates are very popular in yes, Saudi. Yes, right, yes. This is in Arabic, it's called basbosa. I don't know it's called uh, in English, or what's, uh, but it's, it's sweet, dessert. Uh, this is the pasta. It's uh, with the ground uh, beef. Uh, it's cooked also with uh, tomato and uh, milk. Okay. And... Uh, bashamil sauce, yeah. Bashamil sauce, exactly, yeah, bashamil sauce, yeah. 
and we have a salad. Everybody knows salad is tomato or salad. And hummus is very popular in Canada. Every Canadian likes hummus. You like hummus? <laughs> yeah. And uh, we have uh, rice and chicken, yeah. So is lamb a very popular dish in Saudi? Yes, lamb is a uh, very delicious. And uh, every if you have like if you have uh, people uh, come in our house, we should to have a lamb to like to survive for them. Yeah, it's important. Talk to me because this you cook it in a very deep dish. This is all that we cook that. Like I like when uh, if you go to around the all tables, you see all the people serve in the in the dishes. In Saudi Arabia, we don't like to serve in the dishes. We serve in uh, a pot. It's sure that like it has a lot of quantity, yes. and this is for like I don't know what to say in English, uh, karam. It's uh, generosity. generosity. Yes. Yeah, and we show that like uh, we like and also keep the the food is warm. Yes. Keep the yes, yeah. That we always we do that. Mashallah, oh, Every year we have uh, we do this one, and uh, we got all, like in, a lot of uh, people to buy from us. And before the day is finished, our food is finished. Thank you very much. Welcome. Thank you. Welcome. We'll be right back after this. Welcome back. Let's talk and see some of the great food here at the bazaar. We're here with Imam Jamal Talib, the Imam of the Islamic Center of Southwestern Ontario. Welcome to the show. Thank you, welcome, thank you. Imam Jamal, talk to us a little bit about Islam. What is it, um, what is it exactly and um, you know, how, how we can come together as Muslims as a community? Islam, Islam, uh, the religion of submission to God and uh, being to submit your God is for the betterment of someone's life and for the betterment of others as well. So therefore, when Muslims understand Islam in an um, appropriate manner and they learned about Islam, they contributed a lot to the humanity. And we can see, for example, in the field of physics and chemistry and mathematics, that we, can, we contributed a lot because we believe Islam as a submission to God is to, to discover, discover yourself and to discover society around you to benefit those who need to be benefited. Because Islam in mainly uh, here is to build an i'mar al-ard. Istamarakum fiha, as the Quran stated, istamarakum fiha is you're here, your job is here to build this uh, uh, humanity and build the humanity in, in all kinds of building. So therefore, anything that's coming to destroy this image, this beautiful image of Islam, then it is not from Islam. So we need to understand that Islam is a, a, a religion who came with the first word of read and and the book quran the book itself quran the, the meaning of the quran in arabic language it was driven uh, from the word read so it's it's to discover and when god tested adam in the first time he tested him about in the Arabic language, Adam was tested because of his ilm. And he was respected by the angels because of his ilm. And even the angels, they said, how come you put on earth someone that they might, they might mischief and we are there to, to serve you and to, be, uh, to, be, to have this devotion uh, to you? So, so God tells them, with knowledge of Adam that the earth will be built. So knowledge, book, pen, is what Islam is really focusing on. 
And in light of, you know, the different things that are happening around the world, how can how are Muslims supposed to react? How would the Prophet Wasallam? how would he have reacted and how did he react in difficult times? We always in difficult time we ask people to act wisely. The Prophet ﷺ, he was faced with many difficulties and with some people also who understood Islam in wrong way. So and he act wisely. He he taught those people what is the true Islam. Um, and, and the story that we were we told in the ceremony today, it's about a man that he used to stand before people and he used to say, I'm following Islam and I'm a true Muslim. And, and at night when he goes to his home, he start burning the fields of people and kill their animals. When this uh, approached the Prophet Wasallam, he did not accept it. He said, this is not Islam. Islam is believes and is action. So, and he started teaching this man is the correct way, wisely. So, uh, the system of education is very important to rebuild. Uh, the, uh, the fear does not is not going to do anything. And, and maybe the, the, the enemies of humanity, um, whatever their names are, is is uh, they're creating this environment of fear is people not to discover each other's and instead of knowing one another that they build this hate among people and this is against the teaching of Islam the teaching is Islam emphasizing of people knowing one another build this trust among each other's for the betterment of a humanity and to contribute back in, in any kind of in, in, in any methods of life back to the back to the community and this is the real worship in Islam that we understand if in a city for example like London if there is no doctor that the rest of the Muslims will be sinner um, and if there is no engineer in the city of London, that the rest of the Muslims will be sinner, because our Jew, our we have to Islamically, is, we need we have to cover these areas that will serve people and cover the areas needed. So we have to have doctors, we have to have an engineers. But those who are calling for for uh, for um, uh, for the being civilians uh, being um, targeted, and they they they're actually way way from Islam, and I think they are they have mental problems and they need some psychiatrist uh, to see, to look after them, because really it's not, not Islam at all. Thank you so much for joining us today, Sheikh Jamal. It's my pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for joining us. That's our time for The Muslim View. If you missed the bazaar today, there will be another bazaar happening on February 14th at the Islamic Center of Southwestern Ontario. We hope to see you there.